hello students okay far away we see few peacocks and here now today we will as we are learning about soils so let us absorb so the soil is red in color so yes here we are in a region wherein uh, the top soil is red it is a region covered with red soil so let us see uh, what are the features how the soil is formed okay so as you can see there are a lot of rocks here which are crystalline rocks okay so mainly uh, we will even find a uh, granite but here in this region we even have sandstones lot of sandstones okay so all these rocks what we see around are like formed around 600 million ag uh, years ago okay so very old rocks that means these rocks have undergone the process of weathering for over 600 million years so when they get decayed okay so they get disintegrated in the form of you know small soil soil part particles so that's how this red soil is formed okay so has lot of iron oxides in it uh, because it's weathered soil it contains a uh, very less humus uh, one of the uh, reason is also this soils are formed where uh, you know there's lot of dry season that means less vegetation compared to other other areas therefore the humus content will be very less as well as the clay content will be very less okay so now uh, we will have a look we will search for a place where you know you can see what kind of crops are grown and this is also one of the parent rock that is here what we see is the granite which is undergoing the process of weathering and he, here another rock which is under the process of disintegration this is granite and you can see how the iron oxides are coming see even my hand is turning red in color far there i can see two mongoose which are looking at me which are actually staring at me they are probably trying to drink the water yeah just they just ran away into the bushes hey guys let's find out if they are still in the bushes or not uh, they might have gone fine they were hiding they are hiding somewhere in the bushes okay now let us get back to our thing that is here the red loamy soil okay so here as you can see the sand content is very less and there's lot of clay okay and this soil actually uh, just like the black soil this breaks down a uh, lot of clay content because of lot of clay content aeration happens and here yeah wow we can see yeah some yeah the foot marks of uh, the hoof marks of wild boar okay that is what we call as wild pig and then here yeah lot of peacocks and mm, no 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 yeah quite interesting yeah this could be some big not dog but some big animal anyways uh, yeah so basically oh lot of peacocks yeah. so uh, the soil uh, is lot of clay and this are not motorable during the wet seasons so this is one of the feature and the soil is very hard uh, for tilling it becomes very difficult so uh, unlike the black soil it is not easily tillable okay uh, or even the alluvial soil so in the next session we will see what kind of uh, crops will be grown because in this area all the farmlands are just you know the walls are built and we cannot go so we'll see what kind of crops are grown in the next next session